Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this tutorial or in this video, we will going to see a MuleSoft dynamic evaluate component. So basically, what are the advantages uh, we get from the dynamic evaluate? So basically, using dynamic evaluate, you can dynamically call your data wave or 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 your DWL. Okay. So basically, what happens uh, like? Uh, there are like uh, multiple customers like I am getting the request from multiple consumers and like each consumer uh, want a response you know uh, like uh, in different format or maybe like some consumer may need two fields some consumer may need three fields some consumer may need four fields in such case you can use the dynamic evaluate okay to pick the data wave according to the customer needs okay so let me understand like let me explain what is the data we evaluate this is the core component which evaluate an expression that should result in another script then evaluate that script for the final result such behavior allow you to dynamically select the script instead of hard coding through it transform message let, let me explain this statement what does this mean so basically I have one customer one customer two and the customer three and like I will always get this request which contain ID customer name and the city and I will get a query customer name or customer detail in the query parameter is cust1 cust2 or cust3 the cust1 say I just want name and the city the cust2 say I want ID and name and the customer3 say I want customer ID and only status of the customer so if you see my request we don't have a status right I will show you how we can add the status using data view transformation how we can remove the fields using data wave transformation so all three customers have a different needs you know so how we can fulfill that needs we will see using mule soft flow so basically first thing what I will do I will create a folder which is say new folder a DW simple under this I will create the three file with the name of the customer cust1 cust2 and cust3 so new file this is cust1 dot dw so I am externalize my data wave so I can pick the dynamically using dynamic evaluate so new file now cust2 so what will happen so depending on whatever query parameter we are getting we need to pick that file dwl file okay new file okay so we have cust1 cust2 cust3 so let's start what is the requirement for cust1 so for cust1 I just require name and city I have to remove the ID so just I require a, a name customer name and the city I will remove the ID so for that what you can do you can do percentage DW 2.0 and you can say output I output will be always in JSON format JSON and 1 2 3 okay then I will say payload so it's an array right so I will use map operator and I can say dollar and you can use the minus for removing the ID okay so simple so what will happen so it will remove the ID from the final output so that is how you can use the data wave expression you can use this minus operator or okay so this is the I paste uh, it should be in cust one what is the requirement for cust2 so for cust2 we don't require city so I can remove I can remove the city from that so if you see it requires only customer ID and the name not for third it's bit complex as compared to one and two so for third I don't require ID I don't require I required ID I don't require the name customer name and I just require ID and the status I don't require customer name and city so I will copy this also I can say from here I can say customer name now I want to add the field I can say you no know, something like this so I can add the name value pair status active okay so this is how you can add that now I will go to my dynamic evaluate first so I will use listener listener HTTP listener drag and drop the HTTP listener here 
do the connector configuration keep everything default and here you can say dynamic now I want to read the customer like no customer from query parameter so I will use the set variable just drag and drop set variable into your mule flow and I will say v customer okay and how we can read the query parameter attributes dot query params dot customer okay so you can read it like this now I will use one transform message to read this files right DW how we can read this file I will show you drag and drop okay and you can keep Java as it is no problem with this just you can see a payload also no, if you don't say doesn't matter I will add one variable I will say V D W L okay or I can say V D W L file copy this variable we will be requiring this I will paste this variable here okay in the transform message let me do one thing I will keep this as a Java I will declare one variable file name and I want to dynamically read this uh, DWL available in this DW folder so I can say DW then dollar so how we can get it uh, the like which w uh, DW needs to be read so you can use vars dot V you can copy this better don't do the mistakes copy and change this to the variable and just and dot dwl okay now we will read this dwl file dynamically we can use read url and from where we have to read class path plus plus file name okay comma one mistake you have to put this here remove this from here and you can say text plain okay so so I am reading this particular files depending on like what we get you know uh, in the query parameter so it will automatically read the file so you can use like we you can declare the variable file name so dw is the folder then slash dollar vars dot v customer that which we have set in the variable from query parameter dot dw is the file name then the url class path and the file name this variable file name the class path will be source main resources slash dwa and cast one cast two cast three depending on your query parameters and text plane that's fine now there is a component provided by MuleSoft which is known as dynamic evaluate so I will drag and drop this dynamic evaluate in dynamic evaluate what we have to do so because we have read the file the cast one cast two or cast three file in this variable right so you can go to expression and under the expression you can say vars dot okay now save everything so you can see vars dot vdwl file so the application already started it's starting so now I can go here and I will just send the request for cust1 so I got the 200 ok and you can see only customer name and the city so that is the only requirement I want customer name and the city for the cust1 now let me do cust2 let's see what happens ok so I got ID and the customer name this time we don't got the city because we just want the customer ID and the customer name and we got that right now third is curse three let's see what happens there send so we got id and the status see id one two three four five status active id status so we, we just want customer id and the status right so i hope you like this video uh, so dynamic evaluate is very handy component when it's comes to like uh, when we have to call the dynamically you know DWL file so it is very handy component so I have hope you like this video if you like my video just subscribe it and like the video thanks for watching